Well, the United Nations Climate Change Conference this month brought thousands of people together, including one Brazoria County woman who has long been concerned with the impact of nearby energy plants. Like in Freeport, where last summer a plant explosion shook the entire community. The goal of the COP28 conference is to find solutions for places like yeah. Freeport. That's right. So before we go to Dajia Swad, we're asking you all tonight to chime in. Which of the following is not impacted by changes in climate? You can vote on this question right now at click2vote.com or click2houston.com. And now let's get to Daji Aswad, who's live in Brazoria County after speaking with a community leader about her concerns and commitment to fighting for better air quality. Daji. Good evening. I'm here in Quintana, which is just a few moments away from Freeport. And behind me is Freeport LNG. It is an oil company that exports natural gas to other countries. Now, this oil company is on the minds of many here in the community, including Medley Oldham. She is a community leader who is with Better Brazoria, advocating for more transparency and safety from companies like Freeport LNG. After years of living in what she calls a chemical soup. And um, we are surrounded by petrochemical, oil and gas pipelines everywhere. We are a sacrifice community. Is this company behind me worth the sacrifice that people are seeing in the community or feeling in the community? We get all the dangers, risk, but no benefits from a company like Freeport LNG. Last June, danger shook the island of Quintana when pipes exploded on Freeport LNG's property. The company recently paying a penalty to the EPA for that incident after not following safety regulations under the Clean Air Act. In the years that you lived here, what have been some of the health implications that you, your family, neighbors, and you, your doctor as well, some of the patients that you've helped have noticed? So we adopted twins and they came from up north, I think Oklahoma, uh, and they already had a little bit of asthma but when they came down here they their asthma got to be severe they had to take inhalers to school and uh, so I kind of started doing some research and I found out that uh, Brazoria County is a severe non-attainment for ozone uh, the American Lung Association gives Brazoria County an F every single year the pollution is bad and my physical therapy patients you know, a lot of them have COPD severe in their 50s because they either work in the plants or they live in the communities around them or both. So there's premature heart attacks. We have eight types of cancer higher than to be expected, including one form of childhood leukemia. And as you heard, there are a lot of health implications. Melanie attended the COP28 uh, in Dubai, that international climate conference. And she said, I hope our voices were heard on a global stage about what is going on locally here. And she hopes to continue to advocate for her community so that fossil fuels will no longer be suffocating the people and children as well as families here in Brazoria County. In Brazoria County, Dodgy Aswad, KPRC. See, two news.